Alrighty then. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. I did try doing one of these a while ago and then I didn't and now I'm trying it again and we'll see if I do it. But yeah, we have characters in mind and this is going to be a completionist thing where like not like like crazy completion so I try to do all the lead quests and stuff because that's just hell no but I am going to get every try to max out every care every job class and do all the like stuff and things uh, that doesn't matter um hi Ki hi Norvi are you here to record with daddy no okay I don't well so I did this in um called the most recent uh, um okay so okay first of all in wonder egg priority there's a character who has albinism and heterochromia and it looked really cool so i just so when i pl was playing the new story of seasons game i gave my character albinism and heterochromia where one of his eyes were purple and the other one was blue and i freaking love it so i'm doing it with this guy too so I just think it looks super cool. Look at that. That's fucking awesome. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of little eyebrows. Nose doesn't matter. Who cares? Nobody cares about the nose. Big mouth. Uh, no lip color. Ears. Let's see. Uh, let's do these ones. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need any of those. I'm gonna get one of these and then like make it like look like he's got like dried blood like your wife under his arm. And then give him a dirty face. Because the general idea that I have for this character is that he's kind of been chilling in the woods for some amount of time. We don't know how long. This is the voice I like for a lot of time. And uh, so he's kind of a mess. Um, for his birthday, today's October 6th, so I'll do the October 6th. It doesn't matter. And then I always uh, usually end up picking Osho because, you know, they're an adventurer, they travel around a lot. So we'll just do that. Okay, so, and then for my other two characters that I play, my main started out as a Marauder. And Tiger Lily, who's the one I play sometimes when we're streaming our anime discussions, is a, started as a pugilist. So for him, we're going to start him as a Conjurer. So. Uh, let's see if I can put him. Yeah, we'll put him on the corner because that's where the other two are. And his name is. No, you, you. I can't see. It's dark in here. You. There we go. You use. Oh no. Zuzus. Oh no. Alrighty. You get a new- yes, okay! Hooray! Alright, let's get started. Hey, uh, hey little dude, you're losing your letters. Dude, you're losing your letters. Dude, your letters. You gotta get your letters. Okay, cool. <coughs> Give me. Yeah. 
should wash your face. Maybe later. And that's why you don't fuck with the white mage. Okay, let's see. Staring at the loading screen. No. Loading. Loading. Hey! Oi! You alright, lad? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the ether, I reckon. Some people are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. One little character design thing, the reason it's one blue and one purple on his eyes is because, uh, so humans with albinism usually have blue eyes. But if, um, like, a blood vessel is a bit closer to the iris, then they'll look purple, so that's why one of his eyes is purple and the other one is blue. Feeling better, Koopo? Aha! You can see us! I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles and we live in this wood. Dancing. Normal folks can't see or hear us, which makes you special, Koopo. I think that guy can hear you. He's looking at you. And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The woods have been re restless of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you a chance to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? No, man, I just got here. But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. Just drink your beer. Mood. Eh. Cadena is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins don't care much for conversation, see. Bremen's the name and Bedlin's betrayed. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you are one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? Yeah, I guess. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying. Avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventurers and adventurers are oh, risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Okay, so depending on, he's gonna give you a ring that, um, depending on what uh, you pick. It'll just give you like one point to one stat. So if you say power, it'll give you plus one crit. crit. If you say glory, it'll be plus one vitality, which is your defense. Um, if you say fortune, it'll be one plus CP, which is for crafting. And if you don't say anything, it'll be plus one determination, which is your just overall like a, um, strength and spill, spell and all that kind of thing. I am planning on crafting, so the CP one is actually the most, will be useful the longest, because you don't get a lot of crafting accessories. I'm going to say a fortune. Fortune, eh? Well, it's a dream we've had all had at one time or another. Once you've learned to handle yourself in a fight, you'll want to pay a visit to whichever, sorry, I'm messing with my, my, ma my mic, whichever crafting or gathering guild tickles your fancy. Gridania is renowned for its leather workers and carpenters, not to mention its botanists. And adventure ain't just about killing things, after all. A peaceful pastime may well help you make your fortune. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick with Conjurer until I unlock all the other areas so that I can just kind of start leveling all the other jobs at roughly the same time. Ah! 
Well, what's going on? A skirmish has broken out uh, up ahead with the Ixel. For your safety, you must remain here until... Nope, bad guys. Oh no, those are the good guys. Those are the bad guys. Bloody hells, we shall hold them here. Try to break clear. That was too bleeding close. Nice of the Ixel to send us a welcoming party, though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so just you take care, alright? Okay. By the way, is this your... By the by, is this your first trip to Gridania? Uh, I'll say yes. You used never been to Gridania before. It is! Well then, let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest luscious forest in all Eorzea. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be saying that, not since the calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a new herd of nasties to move in and gave the Ixold the unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids have become a daily occurrence. Ah, at long last. Behold Gridania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. Are you can who may yet play Sorry. a telling role in the tale of this great realm. He's still talking. Anyway, what I was saying is that you can get that uh, chocobo cart as a mount, but you have to buy it off the store and it's like thirty-five, forty dollars, so I mean it, it it goes to all your characters, but you know, still. Your mileage may vary on whether or not it's worth it. In my case, it's not. Never did tell- oh, sorry, I wasn't reading it. Uh, become the sort of story personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider square. Let's see what all he said. Uh, let's go to the event. Um, here's where we part ways. I'm off to the market to deliver my wares, and that's back to the high road. Yeah, I want you to have this by way of thanks for keeping me company. That's the ring I was telling you about. Never did tell me your name. Here's an idea. Okay. We'll consider a square. Goodbye! May the matron take him to her bosom, that he may never want. Get away. And in his heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity. He doesn't look very serene. He looks a little mad. Final Fantasy fourteen. what? I thought this was War World of Warcraft. A game I played for five minutes and then decided it wasn't for me. Loading.
You there, yes you, Wood. Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. I am Bartonent. Bartenant, a uh, wood whaler of Gordania. It is my duty to protect our nation from her enemies whilst welcoming while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let me see what you are. Let us see what you are. Sorry, I can read. I, I can, I promise. I was good at reading in school. Alright, um... Welcome to Gordania, a vibrant forest nation chiseled in the bosom of nature. Please select- I'm using a, 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 a controller. Yep, yep. Okay. No. Thank you. Okay, bye. Alright, I'm going to fiddle with my settings a bit and then I'll be right back, so... One sec. Okay, I'm back. Just fiddled with some stuff and put all my things on my hotbar so that I don't have to find them and move them around as I learn them. And... <sighs> I never turn these off. What's up, dude? What do you want? Um, coming to Gridania. You come here, you go away. Uh, okay. Another green adventurer, I presume? No, mostly I'm white. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known as the Carline Camant Nepi. That's the headquarters of the local adventurers guild, in case you were wondering. The Carline Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Mion within, and she will take you in hand. Okay. Here we go to quest. Use the do list. Okay, fine. I don't care. Bye. Do, 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 do. Probably should have turned off tutorials while I was fiddling around with all my stuff, but I didn't. I didn't, dude. I didn't. Oh, God, I don't care. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm short. Well, well, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wondering young adventurer come to put your name down on, at the guild, I assume. Welcome, Mion's my name, or Mother Mion as most call me, and the Carline Canopy is my place. As the head of the adventurer's guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledgling heroes who pass through our gates. <laughs> you can't even see me. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. Uh, fine, fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eyes, all may seem well with our nation, but not could be further from the truth. The people live in a constant state of in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixel and various gangs of common bandits prove provide even an unending supply of trouble, trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garlean Empire to the north, and that is to say nothing of the calamity. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, but I speak of it as if you were there. How do you know I wasn't? Forgive me, five years past, a yours year was well nigh laid to rest. A yours year was well nigh laid to waste when a dread worm emerged from within the lesser moon, moon Dalamud and rained fire upon the realm. It is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square, square mom of the Twelve's Word was spared the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the Calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. Yet amidst the hazy recollections and the conflicting accounts all agree on one thing, that Aorgia was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm, and yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. 
and whenever we try to recall their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes of mist and blinding glare. Thus have these adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Ahem, pray do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another Warrior of Light, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. Okay. Uh, that is all that's left then is to include the, conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Squall your name right there. Oh, and I would appreciate if you used your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amazing aliases. All right, so it's packed nicely. You use Ono Zunu Zono, huh? Zuzu Zono, huh? And you're quite sure that is an amusing alien? Well, no, I'm not. Very well, from, very well, from this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, nation blessed by, blessed, I'm sorry, I can't talk, of the elementals and the bounty of the Twelve's Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Look what just arrived, another god's damned adventurer. Why don't you start with that? Adventurers are the very self that Gudania needs. The Elder Seatseer herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Of course not, lest you forget is our my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the seventh hell. Eh, fuck off. Kiss my ass. Ahem, pay that outburst no mind. He only meant to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelve's Wood of late, you see, and the Wood Whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. It is often the way with folk who, as is often the way with folk who live in isolation, Gridanians are wont to mistrust things they do not well know, your good self included. Fear not, however, given a catalog of exemplary deeds and no more than a handful of years, the locals will surely warm to you. Okay. On behalf of my s fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Thank you. Now then, you may depend on Old Mother Mion to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Should have moved that down. Oh, I'll do it next time. Press complete. Includes the introductory tutorial, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Ah! All right, let's see. Okay, what do you want? Let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a formal member of the Adventurer's Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Okay. Your first nod is to visit the Aetherite. This massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aetherite Plaza, not far from the Carline Canopy. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherite plays a key role in the life of a the ever wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Whalers will be present to offer further instruction. For your second task, you are to visit the Conjurer's Guild. There is no better place to earn the Arts of Conjury, hence the name. Speak with Medel, and she will explain the benefits of joining the Guild. Okay. For your third and final task, I would have you visit the markets at the heart of Old Gordania's commercial district. There you shall find weapons, armor, and all the various items that an adventurer might need on his travels. There is, however, more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Parsimontre Mar and listen well to his counsel. The master merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my famous eel pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here, I made a batch not long ago. You have your task, you use Ono. Um, may Nofika guide your path. Okay. Uh, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to proffer a help helping hand. I am certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm-shattering realm importance, but prove your worth and build a reputation, and in time folks will be more inclined to entrust you with matters of moment. Mm. 
I also suggest that you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurers Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for neophyte heroes seeking to attain greatness. Okay. Hi. Bye. Quest accepted. It's dark again. I've gone blind. Oh, I have mail. Alrighty, main menu. Okay, fine. Oh, I know why I don't lose it. Cause it's helpful with like jobs when when you unlock new job stuff. But, so I'll just hold on to it. Okay. Hi, everybody. How's it going? I'm small. Bye. Okay. Gotta go this way. Gotta go here. Um, I am going to pick up these side quests eventually, but not yet. Um, I'll, I'll start picking them up after I start picking them up the drops. Will you? Oh, yeah. Okay. You tuned to the etherite. You will unlock another cutscene. Greetings, adventurer. I say, I see you are faithfully following Mother Mion's instructions. I guess. Who are you? What do you want? Leave me alone. I need an adult. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I am Nisia of the Wood Whalers, and I know a thing or two about the etherite. Yes, that big crystal right there. Etherites are devices that tap into the ethereal energies and are primarily used as a mean to, means to travel swiftly from one place to another. We turn and teleport, the most common transportation spells make direct use of the etherites and their connection to the flow of ether. And these, and as these devices are found in almost every corner of Veorzea, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. Truly, few things in this word, world are so useful to an intrepid explorer. But you need not locate them all at once. Before rushing out into the wilds, I suggest you start with the etherites found here in the Gridania. Should you wish to learn more about the etherite or transportation magic, I am here to answer your questions. Good, thanks. See my first rodeo. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Alright, let's go unlock some etherite shard. We'll go over here first. Ooh, get this one over here. E Why do I always think that this one of the plaza is the only ether I, in Old Gridania when the, there's also this one here next to the Archer's Guild? I don't know. Probably because I try to think about the Archer's Guild as little as possible. You now have access to the Ethernet, blah blah blah, who cares? Bye. Gridania, New Gridania. God damn it. This is old Gridania that I'm headed to. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, God. By what right does a fledgling adventurer presume to address Possum Entre, Master of the Markets? You think you can stroll in here, bold as you please, and demand my hard-earned knowledge? Ha! A mar merchant does not for naught, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. If, on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel to curry in my favor, then I might consider your request. Come now, this whole encounter reeks of Mion's handiwork, and more specifically, her baking. Don't look so surprised, son. I smell that ale pie of yours a mom away. Hand it over. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move these. I want this over here. And this one right on top of it. Put this over a little bit more. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. Mmm, that flaky crust, just divine. Very well, I am a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall only explain this once. The aspiring adventurer need look no further than the rosewood and ebony stalls. Both are but a sh short stroll from where we stand. And if you mean to do battle, you'd best be prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Such goods are the province of the rosewood stalls, directly south of here. You will be pl pleased to learn that the merchants of Gridania are exceedingly particular when it comes to craftsmanship, so you needn't fear, defe fear defective straps and the like. If it is potions and paraphernalia you speak, head north to the ebony stalls. The shelves that there are, tr are lavishly stocked by widely tra traveled old on merchants, and I may say that I have seen many things amongst their myriad wares that I scarce knew existed. Do you follow me thus far? The first step of any, in any purchase is to select the stalls that meet your needs. Then you may concern yourself with price and profit. There is little more that I can teach you with mere words. Go peruse the stalls and see for yourself what wares they offer. There is no substitute for first-hand experience, after all, and I am weary of talking. Unless you have another eel, eel pie? I do not. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Alright. Um, we're going to head up north. Because there's another etherite shard up here. Okay. Dang, sometimes I just randomly stop and look at other players. Because they look neat. Or they look weird. Or they look weirdly neat. Or they look neatly weird. And... Taking this. Thank you. Okay, bye. And we're gonna go around. And over this way. And around. I hit the space bar with my controller. This guy right here will give you stuff in exchange for other stuff, but I don't have any stuff to give him for the stuff, so I will get nothing for now. Now, Gridania is pretty, but of the three starting areas, it is the one that I like the least. What it is about it. It's just kind of. I don't know. A little samey. Um. I mean, Limbs is near the ocean, and I love the ocean, so of course that one's my favorite. Old Da, even though I don't generally like deserts, I do enjoy Old Da because it's just cool. But, uh, Gridania, it's, it's okay. They're, they're worse places, I guess, but there are also better ones. Whee! Let's go! And then we go this way! And we ignore these guys for now. We'll pick them up later. Oh, a Moogle! This Moogle's got my mail! Moogle, give me mail! Greetings, tall one. Are you mocking me? I am a delivery Moogle, Koopo. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Why ever would they agree to carry about letters? Why, indeed, if I had my way, I'd be curled up under the canopy of a nice oak, dreaming about some beautiful Mooglet with a rainbow-colored pom-pom, Koopo. But no, the moon had to go and drop from the sky, causing all of that terrible commotion. Etherites were shattered and link pearls rendered useless. For moons, the poor wingless people of Eorzea had no way of communicating with each other beyond screaming at the top of their lungs, which no one really approved of Koopo. That is, until the little horned ones asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first, we were wary of showing ourselves, it worried that one of you might catch and skin us like you do every other forest furry. But once we saw how much we were appreciated, we knew we found our new calling. And, pers and I personally promised to try not to read any along the way, Koopo. Look what we have here! Four new letters have arrived just for you, Koopo! Thank you! And I'll take that. Thank 
go. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll be taking that. And thank you. I'll be taking that. Okay, bye. Yes, yes. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. And I sure don't care. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right. Those are actually um nice. Okay. I look almost cool. I mean, I look cooler without the fucking headband, but you know, whatever. Whoosh. Actually, hmm, headband doesn't look too bad. Hey, whatever. Uh, let's go up here, get the botanist etherite, and then I'll head down and get to the Condragill. If you do pick up the side quest, they do kind of lead you around to where all the, the, um, the, the etherites are, so I do recommend it if it's your first time playing. So if it's your first time playing, I also don't recommend relying on me for information because as I've already demonstrated, I often just kind of speed through stuff I already know and don't bother to read it again because I already know and, you know, I already know. So, like, I'll give little like, tips and tricks every so often, but for the most part, this is an entertainment let's play, not an information let's play. Okay, bye! Ether I chart. At least I think it's the last one. It's freaking hot in here. I'm probably gonna turn my fan on. Yep, it's the last one. Yes, yes, I can now. Ugh, God damn it! I'm gonna move. Oh, you know what? I can't move, so I'm gonna turn my fan on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, that's not too loud. Going around. This is one of those areas we end up coming to a lot because lots of plot stuff happens around here. Not in here, but like out there in the little that little outside area. Excuse me. Hello, 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 hello. I don't get the wrong person. I'm supposed to be talking to you. Hi. You seek the secrets of Conjury Adventurer? Then search no longer, for you have found your way to the Conjurer's Guild. It is at Mayon's request that you have come that allow me to provide you with an overview of what it is to be a conjurer. Conjury is the art of healing and purification. Its practitioners harness the power of nature that they might bring about change in the form of spells. Primitive magic such as that once wrought by individuals known as mages, meaning those with the ability to manipulate ether, has existed since the dawn of time. It was not until some five centuries ago that Conjury emerged from this shapeless agglomeration of spells and charms, an event which led to the founding of Gdania. In those dark days, the elementals would not suffer man's presence in the Twelve Wood, forcing our forebears to make their homes beneath the earth in the great subterranean city of Elmora. Uh, but their desire to settle in the Twelve Wood continued to burn fiercely. Time and again, they sought to cur curry the elementals' favor. Unlike men and other creatures bound in temples of flesh, the elementals are beings of pure ether. Recognizing this, the mages of Eld reasoned that their talent for etheric manipulation might allow them to commune with these their, their two four enigmatic entities. It took five long decades, but our four bears finally succeeded. They reward the elementals' permission to dwell in the Twelfth Wood, so it was that the nation of Gudania was born. Since that time, the elementals have taught us to live as one with nature, speaking to our Gudanians through the hearers, those mages who are able to commune with them. 
and for their intimacy with the elementals, the heroes would go on to attain greater mastery of the forces of nature. Thus, the day con they conceived the art of conjuring. I hope this has helped you gain a greater understanding of the Conjurer's Guild. Should you wish to delve further into the mysteries of conjury, then I urge you to consider joining our ranks. I can begin your initiation whenever you desire. Come upon me when you are ready to take the first step. You can't, like, not. You have to join at least one guild, I think. I think! Can you go through the story without ever joining a guild? I kinda... No. I mean, there's a lot of, um, skills you can only learn through your job quest, but, like, could you, like, potentially... Eh, I'll do it anyway. Okay. That is well. I shall introduce you to our guild master, Brother Esumiyan. Brother Esumiyan presides over the Conjurer's Guild even as he serves the nation as a hero. You will find him in the meditation area within. Go to him and make known your desire to join the guild. Okay. I would, I'm, this is not the, the character to test whether I can... On. Maybe, maybe some other time I'll do that. I'll do a video just devoted to seeing how long you can go without joining a guild. Greetings, adventurer! I am told you wish to become a conjurer of the Stillglade Fawn. I am Brother Esumian, master of this guild. Before you are formally accepted into our ranks, I would impart, impart to you the principles of conjury. Pray attend me well. Conjury is an arcane art that takes life and the living for its domain. Its primary, primary purpose is the solving of hurt and the granting of protection. Adventurers such as yourself off stand upon the front lines of battle. Owing to this, you are likely to find yourself in many situations wherein a capacity for healing would be advantageous. Mind you, there is more to conjury than that. By harnessing the power of earth, wind, and water, conjurers are also capable of weaving spells that wreak havoc. In terms of sheer destructive power, conjury may pale in comparison to thaumaturgy, but its capacity to de defend one against aggression more than compensates for this relative shortcoming. In mastering healing and purification, you will not not only will you be able to mend wounds and purge afflictions, you will be also be able to breathe life back into the fallen. More than simply healers, yet not true dealers of destruction, conjurers re realize their full potential when they employ their powers in support of others. This, my dear adventurer, is what means to be one of us. What it means to be one of us. Hmm, may have that this was too much to grasp upon a single hearing. But don't worry not, for the meaning of my words will become clear to you in due time. Aye, you will come to understand that conjury is not the sole province of the conjurer. Should you wish to walk our path, I must needs ask that you solemnly vow to embrace nature, to heed the will of the elementals and the twelves would alike. Can you make this vow? Do you vow to embrace nature? Yeah, sure, why not? I knew you'd th your answer ere your lips had parted. Yes, I am no pleased to hear it. No, yes, less, no less pleased to hear it. By the power vested in me by the state of Gridania, I now pronounce you... No. I hereby name you a member of the Conjurer's Guild. And so to work, listen well, for I would assign you your first task as a conjurer of Stillglade Fawn. Just beyond the city gates, you will encounter squirrels, ladybugs, and fungars. You have I would have you slay three of each. Lest you wonder how I can so coolly order the tanking of life, know that things are not as they once were. As a consequence of the calamity, and I may add, through no fault of their own, these creatures have become a burden to the Twelveswood, a burden it cannot well bear. As a conjurer, it is your duty to carry out the will of the forest. And by employing your powers in so doing, you will come to learn something of your art. Go now, you use Ono, and perform your first task in the name of the elementals. Okay, bye. You know, I already gave him a Lala felon name, but I still think it would be funny to, like, just, like, pretend, like, play him as, like, an Ellison child that everybody just assumes is a Lala fell. He's actually like literally just like four. I should do that. Yeah. Except it is canon that he is a to a toddler that everybody just thinks is a a a, a, a lolafell. So they're telling all this stuff to him, and he's like five. Uh, 
Oh, party! Excuse me. Excuse me. Going around. Whoops, excuse me. Alrighty. Alright, I finished it. What do you want now? The Conquering Hero returns. You have completed my little task, I trust. The three locations you visited will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer, and it is, it is best you go familiar with them as soon as possible. And you took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry? I did not. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial the matter may seem. I'll do it later. I am thankful that you are an obliging sort, you use Ono. It is uh, adventurers like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. I pray Gudania can rely on your aid in the sh in its struggles to come. Uh, now the whole he's actually an Elizabeth and toddler would work better if he was a plains folk, but he's not. Okay, okay, I need to be level four. Alright, so I'll come back when I'm level four. Let's go kill some things. Whee. Where's that wood wheeler who greeted us? Is he still over here? <gasps> He's not. Oh, look, another noob. And we. Okay, thanks. All right, let's kill some stuff. Give me one more. down, one to go. <sighs> Kill some giant mushrooms. I don't think we're going to get to level 3, 5 after turning this in. Oh, 4 is what I'm trying to get to. I need to get to level 4. 
We probably won't. Um, but what can we can do? This person I think is doing that. At, uh, that final piece of team quest. Um, what I think we can do is. Well, I'll tell you. But not yet. Hi. Send me to here. Thank you. Oh, I should probably um, at least pick up the ones that give me gear, because otherwise I'm going to get to the bandage and say, you're not strong enough! And I'm going to be like, wait. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, because they make you um, level up your equipment before you can continue the story at some point. So placing yourself in the midst of nature and seeing it with the conjurer's eyes, you have taken your first step along the path of enlightenment. Healing, protection, and destruction. Though our spells vary in function, they all derive their power from the same source, the forces embodied in all creation. By gaining a true understanding of these, a conjurer may call upon them to manipulate his environment, thereby realizing the state of being that he desires. Ah yes, yours is a familiar look, the very picture of confusion. Be not disheartened, for comprehension shall come in due time. For now you must learn to reach out to the for forces embed embodied in each of us. Pray receive of me this hunting log. Within you will find the names of such creatures as would pose a suitable challenge to a conjurer. There is no single path to mastering conjury, yet should you find yourself needing direction, know that this log is there to guide you. Breathe deep and open your eyes to that which cannot be seen. Fill the myriad life around you and draw upon this boundless reservoir of energy. Take up your cane and use it to lend that energy form. Go forth, my young conjurer, and be at one with the world. Return to me when you have learned to draw upon the forces ar around you with the self-same ease you draw upon those within. Okay, thank you. Oh, raisins, I think. I think the new soil is for cooking, so... I'm going to, uh them and not eat them yet. Alright. Will you do your stuff? Yes, I'll, I'll take this one. Uh, might you perchance be comfortable around Vilekin? If so, I have urgent need of your assistance. You see, I was preparing for the forthcoming auguries when I found, to my great embarrassment, that we lack the requisite quantity of scarlet oil. It is not, if it is not too much to ask, I would be most grateful if you could resupply us in time for the ceremony. Scarlet oil can be harvested from ladybugs since, such as those found near the Bannock. Six of the Vilekin should yield the necessary amount. Pray return to me as soon as you have it. Yeah, if I'd pick that up before I went to do that, then I would only have to kill three extra ones, but I didn't, so I do, and that is why you should generally not follow my instruc- it, my, uh, not do as I am doing, and pick up the side quest as you go, if that's what you're going to want to do. But it's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Not me. I think the other two that I want to do are there's one in each at each um each guild. They've got a quest to go kill things, and then in exchange they'll give you gear. Hi. Um, have you perhaps heard mention of the Exali tribe of beastmen, Long Beach, Sharp, Tal Sharp Talons? They are a brutal race, paying on both man and beast with equal savagery. It is not an exaggeration to call them our most bitter enemies. And now we have frequent reports of the birdmen seen not a stone stole from the city walls. Have a care not to end up in one of those two parts, Stipe Lane. Okay. Uh, not you. I don't think you have one. Do you? No. Okay, bye. I'll be back later for yours. So it wasn't him who had one. Who was the other one? I thought it was one of each, but apparently I was wrong. Um, let me look at these, see if I can remember it. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I guess maybe it is. Maybe it's only that doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right that only me too. But you know, whatever. Hi, give me job. No, you don't have. No, fuck! Ah, I didn't want to do it. I'm 
going to cancel it. Cause I don't want to do it yet. I'll do it later. Okay. Um. Maybe they changed it. Did they change it? <gasps> they changed it. How rude. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe that means that I don't have to um, have stuff. Uh, I guess I'll find out. Hi, you're almost entirely naked. Bye. All right, well, let's go up. Kill some ladybugs for that conjurer. Alrighty. Oh, somebody came through here and killed some stuff. Quite oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Um, so these things with the little white, yellow thingy over their head, they're in your hunting log. Kill them. Get extra experience for doing so. Also, um, since this is a completionist one, we are, we're going to be completing the hunting log, so we need to kill them anyway. Do, 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 do. Get your squirrel. I have a squirrel. Need a bug. Another ladybug. Fungors are also in the hunting log, so I'll go and get those two while while I'm out here. Just so I can definitely Oh well, no. Yeah, should I? Yeah, I will. Or maybe not. No, maybe. Mm, nah, I'm not gonna. Let's go. I mean, I will. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean that. I'll get the wrong way to the manic. Me. <sighs> Maybe it's this guy over here who's got the. Not you. Maybe this person? Oh, right, I think I need to talk to this person, and then they'll send me to that guy over there. And then he'll give me the one that gives me, um, gear. That's a pain in the ass, though, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm, gonna, I'm not going out of my way like that. Not this, not right now. Maybe later. Bye! Where am I going? Country Guild. So right now my goal is to get to level 10 so that I can start unlocking other classes. And then once I do that, um, then I'll start picking up the side quests. Hi! Ah, oh, you're back. Have you procured the, procured the Scarlet Oil? Yes, here you go. Yes, everything appears to be in order. The ceremony may proceed as planned. I am grateful to the Elementals for delivering you to us. Pray accept this small token of our appreciation. Gee, thanks. Alright, um, I'm going to actually end the video right here. Um, I don't know how regular this series is going to be. I'll probably just record for a few hours every so often and then um, um, just kind of post them two or three times a week. And then we'll just see how things go. But yeah. So yeah. 
Everybody take care. And wait, where is it? Where is it? See you next time. Bye now.